Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. Today we are talking about how to fix banding inside your comps. We'll use a simple two-step solution that will improve your comps and help you deal with low light situations easier. So let's jump in and see what it's all about. So before we begin the lesson here, I'd like to make a quick caveat, and that is due to YouTube's compression, um, you're going to see that after we fix the banding, there will still be banding left, um, but that is only because of the compression that you are seeing uh, from YouTube. Uh, but be sure that um, within the comp here, it's perfectly clear, and that also when you do it on your end, it'll also be perfectly clear. So let's do it. Okay, so today we're talking about how to fix steppy gradients with inside After Effects. Um, so if you've ever worked with gradients uh, at some point or another, you've probably uh, run into this issue where you have um, a steppiness occur, some banding also is what, what it's called, where, um, you know, it's not smooth. Um, you have these uh, very visible chunks that are happening. Um, and this is not good because uh, most of the time you want it to be smooth and nice and you want it to... Um, yeah, have a nice appearance of a gradient. So how do we fix that? So um, it's pretty simple. There's there's two different techniques that I'm going to show you today how to use. Um, the first one is is when you first open up After Effects, um, typically what you're going to be working with it defaults to 8 bit, and 8 bit is basically how many colors that you're working with, right? It's the bit depth of your colors. So by default, each channel has 256 colors. So your red channel has 256, your green channel has 256, and your blue channel has 256. So what happens is basically it tries to fill in that information based, fill on these colors based on the information that it has. And if it doesn't have enough information to make it work, this is what happens. It starts to get chunky. Um, so how do we fix that? Well, um, the easiest solution is to give it more information. And luckily, we have that option with inside of After Effects. So um, let's come over here to where we have our 8-bit uh, button here. And let's click on this. And within here, you're going to see you have a bit depth here. All right. so. Um, let's go ahead and switch this to 16 bits and let's take a look over here at what happens with our gradient. So as soon as I hit OK, you'll see that smooths the gradient out. And why is that happening? And the reason why it's happening is because you're giving it more colors to work with. Now, instead of only having 256 per channel, you have something like 32,000 colors to work with per channel. I mean, it's a lot more information that it can use to fill in these gaps uh, that it was having problems with. Um, so this is something that's always good practice unless you are just working with pure flat colors. I would recommend always uh, keeping 16-bit on by default. I would just set this as your project settings to default. Um, and then this most of the time will get you nice looking gradients. Now there are scenarios when you're working with very low lights um, when this is not the case. When um, the colors are just too, too similar and you are unable to uh, get a smooth gradient. So for the next example, um, let's go ahead and set this back to 16 bits. Um, if you hold Alt, you can toggle between 8, 16, and 32. So I'm going to just put it back to 8 bit. And I'm going to bring up a gradient that I have here. Hopefully you guys can see this because it's pretty low light. Um, and you see that we have some stepping that's happening. And again, it's it's happening because of the same reasons. Um, there's, there's just not enough information to fill in between. Um, and these are very similar values, so it needs a very wide range to actually make this happen. All right, so um, naturally, let's go ahead and try 16-bit. So when I switch to 16-bit, nothing changes. <laughs> nothing changes at all. And that's because it still doesn't have enough information. These colors are just still so similar that it doesn't have enough values to pipe in between. So let's try, there's one more. Let's try 32-bit. Still same thing, not enough information. So what do we do? All right, well, let's put it back to 16. And then this is another trick that I use quite a bit, and it gets me out of a lot of uh, sticky situations when I'm comping in low light, in particular if you're putting like a lens flare or some sort of glow on top of a comp. Um, and it's just very subtle, like very taken back and transparent. Um, I tend to run into this a lot. So what you can do if nothing else is working for you, you know, I've tried 16, tried you know raising your bit depths and everything uh, what you can do is you can come in and you can go to effects and you can do noise and grain and let's select a noise and then for our noise we're just gonna put it to a value of one I want you to watch what happens to this gradient when I put it to a value of one As soon as I put it to a value of one it's crystal clear smooth and what it's doing is it's just me messing up the pixels just enough to kind of trick your eye almost that like this is smooth. 
Um, typically, if it doesn't work at one, uh, I mean, two is kind of the max. So if it's not working by uh, a percentage of two, it's probably not going to work. And you just got to rethink about what you're doing between the combination of raising your bit depth and also um, potentially add adding noise to it if you need to this should get you smooth gradients 99.9% .9 of the time mm -hmm. so this is it for today i hope that it has been helpful and i will see you on the next one mm -hmm.